friends welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss the PFC power factor correction circuit in this power supply of PS4 it is ADP 200 ER what is power factor correction I applied 115 volt 116 volt at input and I am receiving so I applied 116 volts so I am receiving 164 volts 116 square root 2 it should be 164 volts to take peak voltage at capacitor so 164 volts I am taking exactly as per our calculation 164 so you can calculate it as well multiply it by 1.414 it is the same 164 volts when we try to power on this circuit I connected this switch this switch is connected between 5 volt and AC DC standby I connected a switch between 5 volt and AC DC standby so I connected 5 volt AC DC standby these two pins this time I am not taking output in the 12 volt section and we have 164 volt at main capacitor this time I applied 116 volt now I am going to turn on this switch when I will turn on because I connected series lamp I powered on our PFC circuit maintained this capacitor at 411 volt and now our this supply started output it is 11.86 volt here 410 volt and at input the same 116 volt 116 volt as per calculation we should have 164 volts which we calculated here this is our 116 volt is input and to determine the peak at capacitor must be 164 volt but now we are taking 411 volt 410 volt DC so how is this possible to generate voltage 411 volt instead of 160 volt so these additional voltage are replenished are created are boosted by this circuit this inductor MOSFET rectifier diode and one IC and some related components when I applied 116 volt 164 volt here and when I turned on the power this capacitor charged at 410 volt 411 volt what is the reason reason because here we need a huge amount of current that is 12 volt 16 ampere to make from 160 volt I we can say 120 30 DC volt maybe here if it if here is 85 volt if input voltage are 85 volt lower ra range of 115 volt so in that condition we will take 120 volt DC uh, if we have 265 volt AC input capacitor will 374 volt so if there is no PFC circuit and we want to increase the voltage we want to take output from this circuit it will very difficult to maintain the regulation because the input voltage will vary from 120 volt to 
374 volt in that case the regulation factor will affect it directly okay now I am going to connect 220 volt instead of 116 volt then we will see the response of this circuit AC it is 234 volts now we will check DC voltage it is 333 volt 235 volt multiply by 1.414 1 it is 332.29 you can calculate by square root 2 or you can calculate it by 1.414 so it is okay now as per our calculation the output of bridge rectifier that's okay 331 volt no power at output and we are just taking the standby voltage standby voltage this point and this point 4.8 volt that is standard output of this power supply from this small section I discussed this section already and I discussed this DC rail circuit and input protection circuit in our last video when there is just only this circuit working when 160 volt were on this capacitor we were taking 5 volt now input is here 333 volt DC voltage and we are taking 5 volt so this circuit will work at 160 and 330 we need output from this circuit when we turn on the power on button from our PS4 PlayStation 4 actually what happens these 5 volt are applied to AC DC standby switch now I turned on so that this circuit this PFC circuit maintained voltage again and for at 411 volt regardless to the input either it is 85 volt AC 110 volt 200 230 260 volt it will maintain the DC level at 411 volt when we need output 12 volt it is 12 volt 11.86 volt so that means this circuit is responsible to maintain the DC voltage level at 410 volt because this circuit needs 410 volt to work properly to give a proper output without any drop without any load effect to maintain the load regulation to maintain the line regulation to give a proper output so it need 410 volt to turn on so let's see how it will boost the voltage come to this point this is our input circuit here we have input voltage AC input voltage at bridge bridge inner pins so these voltage are rectified at bridge to charge this capacitor and these voltage rectified voltage are reached here through this NTC NTC is here and through this inductor this one is not a transformer it is inductor it is a coil it is a choke so voltage will pass from this PFC choke from this point to this point and here we have a rectifier diode normally voltage rectified through NTC this positive and negative voltage are reached here at PFC coil and diode output this diode D11 D11 is here this, this one D11 is here so we have a point common point here which will allow the voltage to pass to the capacitor now we have to see the function of this PFC how it is boosting the voltage here is IC 2PCS02 2PCS02 it is standalone power factor correction controller in continuous CCM mode any power factor correction PFC circuit it is very common used in inverter AC boards in 
LED power supplies we have a positive voltage here we pass it through an inductor and after inductor we connect a MOSFET PFC controller it checks the voltage how much voltage are present here if the voltage are within limit it will remain silent and this MOSFET switch will remain open when voltage will drop it will start switching when it will start switching the voltage coming to this point here will take a surge and it will cause a heavy current flow in this path because here is a shunt resistor this is I sensor or I sense current sense resistor it is very low ohm and this one is very low ohm so what will happen it will cause to generate a magnetic field because this is high amount of current high amount of current will flow here so it will cause to generate a strong magnetic field when it will cause to generate a strong mag magnetic field this end is positive this end is negative when the current is flowing because this negative end is connected through a short source its arm resistance is milli ohm so this end will negative this end will positive in the off time when this switch is open what will happen now here a strong magnetic field is built up in the on time now the magnetic field will collapse when the magnetic field will collapse it will cause to induce a reverse voltage in first condition we applied voltage positive to this inductor we applied voltage to this inductor this one end was positive this end was negative now this magnetic field have to collapse when it will collapse it will induce voltage to the reverse polarity to the applied voltage so now due to voltage collapse this end will become positive this end will become negative now this end will become positive and its voltage level will proportional to the magnetic field how much magnetic field has been induced now if we look here positive negative this end is negative this end is positive negative positive if we consider this capacitor as a battery cell negative positive now this inductor will behave as a battery as a voltage source negative positive so our two sources will become in series so we have no path here there is no return line so voltage have to pass through this diode for example 200 volt were here at this capacitor we applied a drive pulse and it cause to flow a heavy current in this path so it will cause to induce magnetic field in this coil so when this magnetic field is built up and the dry pulse is stopped now the off time is started so this switch is open so magnetic field will collapse while collapsing magnetic field it will cut the, the inductor the coil so it will generate voltage and these voltage always reverse to the polarity of the applied voltage first this end was positive now this end while collapsing this end will become negative this end will become positive capacitor positive end inductor end is negative next we have diode rectifier so it is one way conductor so it will allow just only one direction current flow now we have to 
assume this capacitor as a battery now two batteries are in series one battery is working as a capacitor second battery has this inductor so it is working as a voltage source when two sources are series negative positive negative positive and when this end is positive this diode will be forward bias when it is forward bias so voltage will be pumped into this capacitor and this capacitor will charge at how much voltage for example 200 volt were here at capacitor 200 plus 200 400 volt so capacitor will charge at 400 volt and this controller will also sense the voltage level and it will increase or decrease the switching time to maintain the voltage at this capacitor how much we need it depends upon our design and it will adjust its duty cycle first of all check voltage at this capacitor because this time I turned on the system and it is 411 volts so that means the power factor module is working the same 400 volt are applied to these MOSFETs now the pin number 7 that is VCC it is taking 14.55 volt at VCC pin pin number 6 have 3 volt pin number 5 have 1 volt that is V compensation pin number 6 is feedback input sense feedback pin number 4 that is brown out sense it is taking 4 volt pin number 3 0 volt pin number 2 that is I compensation current compensation it is 1.2 volt pin number 1 is 0 volt that is ground drive is at pin number 8 so it is driving the gate this gate and it is making switching this MOSFET and we are taking voltage at bulk capacitor when I will turn off this command so PFC circuit will turn off and the voltage will be maintained at 330 volt so friends in next video we will discuss this high voltage section 16 volt 12 volt 16 ampere and in the final stage we will discuss this IC that is power supply control and this is op operational amplifier that will sense all the inputs voltage level and it will give a com so this gear drive will vary depending upon the voltage input voltage how much voltage we have at input side and how much voltage we have at capacitor when here is for example we have 100 volt here so that means 140 volt will here so 140 volt it will sense the voltage what is the level of voltage how it will sense we have these sense resistors 1 2 and it will feed the voltage to this pin to voltage sense pin so it will sense the voltage because this is the output of the diode here we have rectifier diode so this line it will sense the voltage from this point this uh, this resistor the second resistor and it will come to this point this resistor one two three resistors in series and it is connected to pin number six here so this is pin number six is V sense I sense V sense I sense how much current is flowing from this current limit resistor current sensor resistor the amount of current is applied through this resistor and the amount of voltage will sense one two three resistors so it will sense the amount of voltage so this IC will maintain its duty cycle to maintain the voltage level 410 volt at this capacitor so friends I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative and if you have not subscribed my channel 
if you want to watch my future videos then subscribe and press bell icon button to watch my future videos and to get be notified if you have any question let me know in the comment box and if you have any suggestion if you have any correction please write in the comment box i will welcome your comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh